what you're watching in front of you is the idea that the crypto market is about to pick up pace. XRP is trying to hold on to that momentum. Whatever we have seen in the recent past, when the MACD crossed to the upside and the other side bounced off, was a rally. Can this rally break the pattern to the upside? Can XRP finally start gathering some momentum? Because when you do trade that against dollar, if dollar is breaking to the downside, that gives you added advantage. But yes, obviously, what the market is showing you as a whole altcoin market matters a lot. The ideas of how that market volatility is going to perform matters a lot. Say the monthly candle in Ether, the large cap asset, is now trying to build something. How many of you remember us comparing it here with this month? Now that's exactly what you're watching. Just the acceleration back is faster because of the news cycle, the ETF that just came in. The monthly entering back into the overbought territory is a single sign that you should not miss. I'm saying that with all honesty because the market is literally showing you next few months is going to be which you want to ride in this market. Total crypto market does show some deviation and I'm going to break that down to you so that you understand what really is needed so that you can follow through because some people miss some ideas which we follow clearly throughout because the SI family is focused on what we have said, what we are looking at, what we are looking through, just like what you can see in front of you. This is all reality. This is all just valid ideas of the market. Let's break that down so that you don't miss the upcoming bull euphoric zone. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. What you're watching in front of you is a chart which I posted last year, say December the 13th. I was putting the argument that this is what's most likely happening, which means you would actually see the price go up. And the argument was clear, just be patient, have the discipline which you need, and you're going to make decent gains. Now, the same chart, same on a monthly, now looks like this. MACD did cross to the upside, RSI did move to the upside, price did double. That thought process is not just on one chart. Say, this is the recent one. Like last one, we actually gave you this argument that we may break to the downside, come back up to retest this, get rejected one. So this is the altcoin market, excluding Ether, right? Now, look at what's happening. You broke below that, you came back, retested, got rejected. Yes, it's a little bit of choppy, wicks to the upside, downside, it's all day. Now we are trying to break back in. So the market kind of gives you an idea of what it has done before and what it is repeating. Now it's your turn to use that and benefit from that. So this is AKT, when did I post that? That's a weekly chart on Jan. Jan, a few months back. So the argument I put in was what? From that $2.8, you're actually going to go through, see that top of face coming in at some point here, right? Now, the time it took is way more than I anticipated for sure. But now you look at the price action. Where are you? You are there. And not only that, look at this one, which we shared last month, saying maybe you're going to get something like this. The RSI is going to come back down and make a new low high that may signal some kind of a divergence. 
Now look at what the RSI is doing. So the market does give you signals. Just, it's a little bit early when you are this dialed into the charts. Sometimes, you know, timing is the hardest part. You may say it's going to happen next month, but that's happening maybe two weeks after that, maybe two months after that. But if it's happening, now you have an advantage because you know what shit is actually about to happen. This is what the market is showing you now. This is the altcoin market showing of euphoric season is about to start. Now, how well does XRP fall into that criteria? How well does XRP look like I'm about to rally? Is it like that? Let's look at that. On a daily, you're green. The momentum is favoring the price action. Good. On a three-day, you're still green. On a Heikinashi, on XRP chart, it looks decent. Now I'm moving that into weekly. Weekly chart shows me it's turning back into green, which is actually good. Because historically, you then continuously get two, three, four, five weeks of green price movements. Now, if you just put in a horizontal line at the supports of the RSI, you'll actually notice this. This range is familiar range, long-term familiar range. Around 45.50, when you bounce off, the price actually does well. So that's looking good. Now, you take the exact, exact same asset, same time horizon, move that onto a Japanese candlestick. So that's XRP on a weekly Japanese candlestick. It's trying to break the moving average. Now let's look at the 3-day. It's again trying to break the moving average. It didn't break to the upside yet, but on a 3-day chart, it is starting to show you a possible double bottom. Now we didn't break to the upside. We had a call on Bitcoin, which literally happened right now in front of us, but this asset needs to break through that. Yeah, the trend line here kind of looked like this. You're about to break through that. It's good. XRP does look good. The MACD is crossing to the upside. RSI is bouncing off with a double bottom. Price is trying to break higher. All of that exists. But this is not a 100x move we're expecting here. This is going to be a short micro move. For anything to happen, you need some kind of news cycle happening. You need the dollar to get devalued. This is dollar on a daily showing you it's getting rejected, just like we explained in the last three videos. That means the MACD can get rejected, which usually shows you the capitulation phase. Hmm, that's good, which means the crypto market is about to rally. Now, remember the chart which I showed you on the monthly? That's where we are now. This is the altcoin market showing you the fact that it actually came up a long way after that first leg up. So to break this down, you move on a weekly chart and the weekly chart just shows you it is just starting to bounce off from a bullish checkmate pattern. Remember, before the bounce started, I argued that has higher odds. Now we are watching that. That's great. That's perfect. I mean, that's what we actually want to see. You don't want to actually jump in and out. Rather, you want to ride through that. Now, this is one of that phase in Ether. That's very interesting. Because if you go back in history and you look at this, when you're entering that phase, overbought zone on a monthly chart in Ether, price has gone nuts. Yes, the upside is different in different cycles because it turned from a small cap to a medium cap, from medium cap to large cap. So your ROI is reducing. But that doesn't mean you're not going to go up. You can still do good. You can still do great things with the new cycle adding on to it. Now, look at the altcoin market on the same horizon. Ether on a monthly is now preparing a bullish engulfing candle. The last candle which you're watching here, Ether on a monthly, showing you this. And it's about to enter into the overbought zone on the RSI. Boom, that's when the price actually rides higher. Now if you look at the Bitcoin dominant side of things. In general, can the alts go higher? When the Bitcoin dominance goes up? No. So we wanna see 
this chart, the Bitcoin dominance, I'm using a 3D, we need to go down. So we broke to the downside. Now we need a retest and a rejection. If we do that, we're going to drop down to 50%. From 54, that's a good, decent ride for altcoins. That increases the possibility of us going up. Now, the entire market movement is purely based on what Bitcoin shows you. So the Bitcoin and what it is about to do is huge. You cannot actually deny the fact that Bitcoin can literally move the market. Now, what you're watching in front of you is the Bitcoin on a daily chart. So if you remember what we were arguing, the idea was there's a micro pattern formation which should actually respect which direction you're going. Or in other words, these are the charts which we were discussing through. Remember, we had this thought process aligning. Why? Because we watched that forming here, right? And then I followed it up with this one. And you guys already saw zoomed in breakout thing saying, okay, guys, watch these two range is what I'm looking at. 67,900, 68,300. If we break this, it's actually good. It's decent. Now let's revisit that same thing. So remember, you're here, you're looking at a short-term chart, a two-hour chart, zoomed into the current volatility cycle. So that's exactly what you're going to do now. You jump onto a two-hour chart, you want to see what we are doing. Because the price can, you know, do a lot of fake-outs. You don't want to enter into a fake-out. So you're looking at this and saying, ah, barely, barely we made a breakout, but we're coming back down into that pattern. So this is Bitcoin on a two-hour chart, micro leg. The retest here means this. You got a breakout, you hit a resistance, you retest there, which should be 67,700, and then the bounce breaking through that 68, 68,900, 69 is going to be big. Now, yeah, that's a short-term chart. You need the help of a daily to see where you're going. This historically has shown us a corrective leg and then a bounce. So what are we expecting? 75, 80, 90, 100. There's a lot of different thought process out there in the market. You can pick yours. But I think close to 85 is going to be a great range to look for next leg. And in that next leg, if you do see negative divergence getting confirmed, all are about to blow off. And I'm completely in line with what Tech Day was actually arguing. Yeah, the altcoin market is about to explode. And that's one of the reasons why a few days back, I gave you this chart saying the altcoin market is about to enter the euphoric zone. Not a lot of people understand it at the moment when the price action is muted. This is just like the charts which we have discussed for the market when it was still not in the euphoric phase. But now when you actually get four or five months of euphoria, becoming euphoric may not be helpful because the market that short term ride is over. So focus yourself on this area to understand what exactly is happening. And that's why thousand plus members are readily in the SI family taking all of these calls one by one, whether it's a micro call, whether it's a macro call, just like what you're watching in front of you, which 70 to 80 percent of the time turns true, helps you guide in this market, which is not an easy market. It's completely manipulated market. It's very hard to understand what's happening and to think on the opposite side. Okay, they want to they want us to see this. They want us to think like the price is going to go this way. So what exactly is going to happen? Most likely they're going to do the other thing, right? So that critical thinking thought process and the ability to be someone who can interpret the language of technical analysis helps you a lot. If you want to join that group, the party of the scientific investor family, use the link in the description below. You can reach me, go to the one-on-one -on -one session, align your portfolio in a way which would give you the best results in this euphoric season.
some small to medium caps are going to explode but the risk is super high if you don't have the risk you should not be there if you have higher risk and you're only in one or two large cap ah, that's not going to give you the real roi you want have the basic idea and if you want my help i'm there so guys if you received value smash that like button for me i'll meet you guys on the next video bye for now